Welcome grade eight to the final week, week seven for our first unit. In this week, we shall cover the following. We will do another explicit that highlights to create original work and ideas using existing works and ideas in new ways. So for instance, here, you will probably research perhaps more uh, famous artists and then look at their artwork. Moreover, compose your own art piece that is reflective of their idea adding new elements in the 21st century. So this explicit will be fun and it will show you how we focus on these ATLs for uh, English, but they can be embedded elsewhere. The second lesson, you will create a short PowerPoint presentation reflecting one of the topics. So here, here I'm going to divide you into groups. Group A will do criterion B, which highlights the plot structure. So you're going to explain the plot structure. Group B will focus on criterion C, which are the literary devices and explain in details. Uh, whereas group uh, C will focus on criterion C, which is you, which is criterion D, which is using language. So here you're going to uh, explain, for instance, how I can um, reduce errors in punctuation syntax, grammar, embed the use of sophisticated diction, and so on. And finally, the last group will write or create a PowerPoint presentation reflecting, reflecting the do's and don't when creating a nonfiction narrative. So if I were here, if I were in your place, remember when we did the peer evaluation? Keep that in mind when you want to produce your PowerPoints and reflect on the things that I told you to avoid doing. Our third lesson will focus on the following. We will discuss common errors. This will be basically a final synopsis on after you, after I assess your second draft, and we will discuss errors that we should avoid. And here you will present your understanding and amend your errors. Finally, before uh, last but not least, lesson four, you'll discuss the components of a nonfiction narrative as a reminder. So this will be a recap lesson and explain the importance of using the trade devices. So here I'm going to give some examples and show you how you can embed them for the students that still find it difficult to do so. And finally, our last lesson will be an end of unit reflection. So if you have any inquiries, please don't hesitate and email me.